Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Dallin Farm. Uh, it is a map by Pro Farmer 40 in Yorkshire Dano, I believe. Um, just up at the cow farm here, up the house. It's a dog that runs around constantly. Some of the equipment we've changed out. Uh, we've got the T7 270, Crown Ultima CF155, Keenan feeding wagon them two Thomas has edited so that one we've seen before that one we haven't tried yet uh, but T6175 I think we've also got the bent katana 85 forage wagon I haven't tried that yet uh, forage wagon forage harvester I haven't tried that yet uh, everything else is just standard when you get it chickens are in hens are in here Massy combine you get from the start, and we've also put in the John Deere 8430. So we're going to go and do a bit of mowing today with the Pottinger mowers. These ones I was sent by somebody. I believe they are private, Ooh. and I'm also out of practice of playing farm sim. I also must apologise for the lack of videos. Uh, last week I had a little whoopsie and crushed my fingers, so they were out of action for a few days. And then over the weekend I started playing ETS 2 multiplayer, so I'm quite enjoying that actually. So down here I've put a new shed in, it's just a placeable one. This isn't a massive amount, and then I use that um, roller just to put the concrete in that in. I haven't been in the editor with this map. So Got this cedar down there, the big cultivator and the fruit spreader. I have put pallets in here, but you can get seeds from up at the green dot there at the top right hand corner. I think that's where it is, yeah. That's where your grain storage is. But we're gonna do some mowing today anyways. We'll make a start. I haven't done any more on uh, well I've mowed a bit more grass on Kindle extended. Not sure if people want to see that or not. No. My dodgy editing. <laughs> uh, but we still got that one. But I thought we'd try this one out. Um, I'm hoping to stream tomorrow night as well. Nick's getting way ahead, as you've probably seen. He's over a hundred subs ahead now, so he's going to take some catching if we did can catch him at all. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. So hopefully streaming tomorrow night. Hopefully I'll get one or two videos recorded tonight. So you'll also see I've changed the grass textures as well. I've put them in out of Thornton Farm. Um, the reason for that is because I always run with a crop destruction on. When you went over the grass, it went like an luminous green. Um, and I didn't like it at all. Plus with this one you can actually see where the field boundary is. As you can see there where crop destruction is, it just takes it down to a darker green now. Whereas to me it was like almost like an illuminous green, so I didn't like it at all. So we've changed them out. Nothing too major. So we have the collectors on the back, you can lift them up and down. We'll leave them down. And we'll get going. I've also changed the um, x86 file. When the grass texture is different now, every time that uh, I cut grass, the, the straw is different. But the grass to me looks a lot real, more real. Um, Farming Man 19, well, thank you very much to him for that. He sent the texture over for the files, put them in. As you can see, you can actually see now, should have probably fertilised it beforehand, but you can actually see now where the edge of the field is. Maybe could have gone a bit further into the edge here on this corner, but never mind. Now 
Yeah, so the, the textures that I've put in to change the grass, um, it does look a lot more real, I think. You can see there where the edge of the field is. I'm just being a bit greedy. Yep, yeah, hope we've all enjoyed the uh, warm weather. It's been a little bit too hot for me. I'm trying to sleep. So I must apologise if you hear any background noise as well. I've got the window off. It's still quite warm today. So if we look up here, you'll see the field doesn't go all the way down there. So I'll just follow where the, where the fertilised edge of the field is. And um, we'll get the crown out after this. I probably could have put it on Follow Me actually with the uh, T7. And what does everyone think of the uh, mod contest maps and mods and everything? Um, I have started Dusty Cove with the Seasons mod, I think I mentioned that, but I haven't done any more to it. I'm just on ploughing the fields at the moment, I've got ploughing and everything turned on. Which, uh, I'm still not sure whether Seasons makes good videos, but it definitely changes the game. It's a decent sized grass field this as well. Yeah, decent sized fields on here, uh, if you look. Look around. Can't really see. Uh, the river running around. I really did like it when Fresh Engine was doing it to be honest. That's why I've uh, I've come on to do this one out of all the mod contest ones. And I'm not sure whether the worker will work in here or not. We may give that a try in a minute. Cosplay would be your friend on this map, I think, if you were um, doing it yourself. You've also got the trains in the background there going past. And you do start with field 2 and 3. Which I have seeded, I've seeded them off the camera, so they're in the process of growing. But I've also bought field four and field 24. Yeah, so you start with two and three in this field here, this grass field here. I think I'm assuming that's a grass field there as well. I haven't really looked round, <laughs> which is really down to me. So yeah, it's Pro Farmer 40 in Yorkshire Dano that's done this map. From what I've seen so far with what Fresh was doing on his streams and um, what I've seen so far of the map I've seen of it, then it looks really nice, it does. So yeah, I just thought Thomas had just sent the edit over. It's also trying to do something else with that crone that was just, um, I won't mention that yet because he's having trouble doing it um, so I'll not mention that one but we'll give it a go shortly when one's atrocious I think something's never changed uh, would anybody be interested in seeing multiplayer on the ETS2 or would anybody be interested in joining no, me, Stephen, and uh, Thomas were on the other day. It was, it was quite a good laugh, actually. And then me and Thomas were on the other night uh, on the Euro 2 server. It's 2,000, 2,700 and something people on that server. Uh, it wasn't too bad till you got to Rotterdam. Man, that was chaos over there. But, uh, yeah. No, it must be mad, I know what you're thinking. You drive a wagon all day and then you come home and, hey. <laughs> and you jump on ETS2 and start driving a wagon all night. I wonder sometimes as well of my sanity. But I must uh, thank everyone as well. Um, we were under 600 subs on, on the last video, I think we're up to 615 now. 
thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, blooming amazing. It is really, it is blown me away. Uh, my channel hasn't even been going a year yet, which I know some people think, well, that's not a lot for a year, but well, for me, that's amazing, absolutely amazing. Next month is the 12 months, I think, since this channel, I've started the channel. I can't remember when I did my first PC video. I know my first ones were on PS4, and they were horrendous. Some may say they still are horrendous, but uh, no. Uh, yeah, I never dreamed I'd ever hit 600 subs. But I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. Thank you very much to every one of you. So, I'll get this round. I don't know whether to go up and down, around and around and around. I'm going to end up with a bit of this corner here now. That's okay. We'll do one more. We'll go right round this time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Go right round this time with the headlands and then we'll start going up and down the square and up. That do. I'll have to show you it once we. If we pick some grass up with the loading wagon for the cows, I'll have to show you the texture because it, it looks really, really, really good. In my opinion, anyways. Picking up the rear more for some reason. Uh, the front more, shall we say. Maybe I have to remap it again. Sometimes I have these dicky fits. Never mind, it's picking up the back one. There's also another map I've started playing, a little French one that's in the contest, but I can't for the life of me remember what it is, and it's a really, really nice small map. Really nice detailed one. No, it begins with La, <laughs> La something. But that's got um, oats on it and everything as well. It is a really, really nice little map. So, streaming tomorrow, I don't know. I may do this one. Um, and get some get some hours on it. As far as I know, the other half is going out. So I'll have peace and quiet. Right, I'll take him over here. I'm going to try and set the work up and see what the work makes of it. I know it'll be a disaster. It usually is. And what I'm going to do is actually knock him off the. Uh, I just want to see if he does work or he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Oh, well, that solves that problem. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Looks like we couldn't grass, guys. Looks like we couldn't. I don't know why. I know I've noticed that with some tractors. Some tractors it doesn't let you um, pick your... Uh, because I've got the remapped where you can pick both implements up. For some reason some tractors don't allow it. I don't know why. Really should set the GPS for this range. It would make a neater job, that's for certain. That way, not. There's one button for one and one for the other. That's better. 
Try and keep it a little bit real, if nothing else. I was looking though, there doesn't seem to be many people playing this on YouTube. I don't know why. Unless there's some errors I don't know about. I know uh, I put Bally Moon onto the server, but uh, there's meant to be quite a few errors on that one, from what I've been told. Well, that's come off. The server's actually on hold at the moment. Been thinking of putting Dusty uh, Cove on there. I think what we'll do is we'll get this corner done and then we'll go and get the baler and the T7 and we'll give that a go. Time's ticking on. And we'll be back from swimming soon. And then the house will be bedlam again. But there's your shop as well. You're just as well, to be honest, on this one, not resetting. Because the city reset point is up by the uh, that green. Well, it is where that green dot is. So you're just as well not resetting. It's actually closer to the shop, unless you want things up up at the uh, grain store. There is st more storage barns up there as well, and your fruit and your seeds and everything's up there but it's a bit of a trail and I decided just to buy some pallets put in that new shed jobs are good What's I mean, it it's, doesn't take long with these mowers. Definitely a lot quicker than just having the little side mower. And this John Deere I've never used before. I've had them in my mods folder for a long time. I think this is the updated version. I think I used the 8020 before. This is the, uh, the bigger version of that. How long is it going to take us to move this bit? It's going to take us long. Just then the field's done then. Uh, I wish I could move it that way. It would have been better or to mow it all the same way. It's a game, it's a game. And um, talking of fresh eggs, does anybody know where he is? Is he on holiday or is he just busy at work? I haven't seen him streaming for quite a while now. I'll just send him a message and find out. He used to like his uh, father and son episodes. Not that there was anything wrong with his. Uh, Episodes on his own as well. Missing bits. Bit sack. So yeah, I thought we'd use John Deere's, the New Hollands, 
the T sevens out of um, I think it's out of the fleet. The NH fleet pack you can get. I think that's where I got that one from. I won't swear to it though, but I think that's where I got it from. Strip up the field, I think, and that's a hundred wider. The more can quite get it yet. Oh, this down here is where you could go, I suppose. It just hasn't got the, uh, the fertilised texture on it. I'm just not quite wide enough. We'll reverse it. mess up that I've already done. I'll put it down to being out of practice. Right. Right, we're going to grab the more uh, more Man alive, I am out of practice. <laughs> we're going to grab the bell. Let's do a couple of bells. They are big beasts these mine, aren't they? It does have traffic, but I believe I've turned it off at the moment. Probably will turn it back on again, just while I was setting everything up. Getting some serious uh, frame jolts there as well. Let's have a look into that, see what that is. Probably just leave the moors on here for now because I'm not quite sure where we're going to put them. You see, the storage down here isn't huge. There's the big barn in the middle. Could maybe deal with another one of those. Sticking outside on that grass. I'm going to stick this over here. Knock it off. Jump out. Yeah, so you've got. Um, them storage sheds there, this biggish one here, and then just that little one over there. That's all you've got. Just collect the eggs while we're here. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. We've got the old muck spreader here. So we'll jump in the T7. I'll take this bale up and give it a go. If this has I see it doesn't. It doesn't. Just to open the door. To open the back window. And it does. There we go. We're happy now.
Mm -hmm. Didn't that twist around too far. We're not an owl. Connect that up. As you can see, I bought some bales. Uh, that's all that's left. Everything else has gone into the cows. And... Oh, uh, must have a dynamic hose on. Well, so, if we go over here, if I can remember how to do it. Oh, that's all filled up. And I'll fill it up under here as well. And open the other side as well. And you just fill them up and you can replace all them. They will run out. You can buy it so it's automatic, but it costs a fortune. You know me, I'm from the north, I'm too tight. I have to do it myself. <laughs> right. So, I'm going to have to find a tractor with dynamic hoses on it. Mm -hmm. Just so they all connect up. And we'll go and give this a go. See what happens. Must, have, must remember to get out and put the mat down as well. Or the lowering of the bales. I'll probably have to press F1 as well because it's a long time since I've used this bale. Used to use it a lot in 15. I'm sure everybody used it a lot in 15. It was the go to round bale if you want to do round. Just because you don't have to stop, you can keep going. I do like the coon one as well, but you still have to stop with that one. This one it just makes you go a little bit slower. Oh, better if I press the right pedal. Right. Jump out. And I think it's X. Is it X? There it is. <laughs> just for something for your bales to catch. Put the grass on already. Oh no. Put that down there. Put that down there. Ah, right. Let's do it off. I know on here, I'm sure it only takes 125 horsepower to drive this. Now. Which is a, a lot, lot less. I'm sure it is a lot, lot less than it was in the last one. Uh -huh, there we go, that's working. Well done Thomas, thank you very much. Uh, what he's done is change the wrap to black rather than the green. Uh, a bit more realistic for the UK. In my eyes anyways. Well, thank you very much for that Thomas. Oh man, I can go still. So yeah, that works a tree. And we've got the old castle here as well. Oh, maybe we should slow down actually <laughs> if I let him bales go. Yeah, we're all going to gather at the bottom of the hill, mate. That's the only problem with round bales, all the display ones. Yeah, definitely, definitely prefer. Oops, prefer the black wrap. Anyways guys, I think that's where we'll call it a day. I'll carry on in here. I may finish it for the next episode and may come back when we nearly finish time decided. 
Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you everyone that stuck by me while I've uh, repaired my fingers and everything else. Hopefully we won't have any more accidents like that, because I must admit, the, uh, the language did go a bit blue. It did hurt. <laughs> I, I can honestly tell you that. It definitely did hurt. So. But for me, Nolan's fine. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>